Well, if our third way um, to make our commitment to change better is to report during each phone call, what does that look like for you, Nick? How would you um, share some insight on that? Yeah, I, I think this is an important one because we do have a tendency to forget or to kind of lose sight of what we're working on. I mean, I know I've had weeks if, if I don't make those phone calls and report on my commitment to change, I can finish the group, close my books like, hey, that was a great group, had a great week. And and then maybe I don't think about it again until mm-hmm. the night before when I'm doing my homework <laughs> for the next group. Oh, there you oh, go. Been there, done I that. I totally <laughs> forgot my commitment to change and I've done <laughs> right. nothing. And, and now I feel some guilt and I don't want to have to talk about right. that. So the value of those weekly phone calls, and again, for us at Pure Desire, it's to make three phone calls a week. That During those calls, uh, to start out by saying, my commitment to change this week was, because mm-hmm. first you're reminding yourself what it was, yep. and then saying, and here's the progress I've made. Or maybe it's the lack thereof. And even if you're reporting, I've made no progress, there's great value that you've reminded yourself right. what you're working on and that you want to do it. And so I, I encourage that when you make your weekly phone calls, just report where you're at on your mm-hmm. commitment to change. And don't wait to make the phone call until you have uh, progress <laughs> to report. That's, because yeah, that's there are so many weeks when it's the phone call that gets me on track. That yep. I say, hey, the commitment to change I made this week is to be more consistent with mm-hmm. my bedtime. And I've not done that at all yet. I've been staying up way too late. But yeah. because I'm calling you today, I remember it. And I'm, I'm really committed tonight. Here's my plan. And mm-hmm. um, you know, ask me at group this week how that went. So that phone call feature just really makes you more um, aware and cognizant of what you're working on, keeping it in the forefront of your thoughts. And I think, too, the change that you hear from other people, that when they report on what they're doing, that's encouraging. I mean, hearing someone who... Um, You know, one of the ones recently in group was um, going through a really, really tough time and praying uh, before you go to bed each night or uh, having the 30 minutes before you go to sleep of no technology. When you hear that, there are times where I feel challenged, like, hey, I should try that. I'm seeing, you know, through this group member telling me how it's successful and how it's helping him. It's like, okay, maybe that's something that I should work on or try. And maybe it's not my commitment to change the next week, but it's still something I want to try to implement into my life. And so you can get that encouragement too, whether it's a motivation for you to continue the one that you made for the week, or it's just trying new things. I think it can be pretty helpful. 